I'm really, really excited. And my coach just sent me my plan. I have my fasted cardio this morning. And then that's it, mother. I feel like I look super blotchy right now. Booze driving. Um, I wanted to film some of it in there for you guys, but they don't really let other cameras in there. Now you guys know where we live. <laughs> so here we are, show day. It is 5 a.m. and I'm getting my makeup done by V at 5.30 a.m. at the host hotel. So. I get there, I open the door. I'm telling you guys, every time that I go get my makeup done with V, it's like a party in her room. Um, so I walk in, she already has, she's like finishing up, up another girl, so she had someone basically at 4.30 in the morning. So if you guys recall, the last time I was with V was at the Arnold, and she made me look, not at the finished line, though the finished product was amazing, but halfway through when I checked, I looked like a washed up of an It's your fault for checking. I know, I, I shouldn't have checked, she wasn't done. She wasn't done, but it was funny, her husband FaceTimed her. Meanwhile, she's doing my makeup, and I grabbed the phone, and he's like, V, what are you doing to her face? You need to fix that. I was like, what? He totally was. <laughs> so. Guys were hating. I know. It came out beautiful. But yeah, it was really relaxed in the morning, and I got to hang out with my friend V, get my makeup done, and after she beat my face, made me look all pretty, she hands me a bag, and she's like, oh, I just, I just wanted to get you a little gift. I open the bag up and immediately, like, tears start pouring down my face. She puts the fucking makeup on me and then she makes me cry like a bitch. <laughs> Guys! Oh. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> fucking asshole. She made me this collage of pictures of Titus and I when I went to go visit him at the hospital. and. Some of you may know because obviously you follow me on Instagram and maybe you're just joining me here for the first time, but Titus is V's son. Uh, he's about a year and a half old and he was diagnosed with leukemia back in June, I believe. I went to go visit them at the hospital a couple of times and I did a fundraiser for them where anyone who purchased the cardio plan, all the proceeds went to V and her family. Well we were able to raise around $4,000 for that cause. So, you know, reason being is V is a makeup artist. She had to be at the hospital with her son day in and day out for months. So V wasn't able to work for months. So thank you to everyone who bought one of those plans and helped baby Titus out. And Titus is doing better. He does go back to UCLA twice a week right now to get his uh, blood work done and checkups and medication so you know he's not out of the woods just yet but he's doing a thousand times better so thank you everyone who helped out the girls in my class looked amazing you know i never go into a show thinking oh i'm gonna take this i'm this i'm gonna be the winner i'm gonna be the overall winner i don't go into a show thinking that uh, I never underestimate anyone that could possibly show up to a show. You just gotta worry about yourself, stay in your own lane, and try to have fun, which is the hard part for me. Um, you know, once you get nervous, the fun kind of goes out the window and you're just focusing on not falling on stage. So when I lined up and I looked out into the audience, like the entire auditorium was filled and I was like, like nerves kicked in. But anyways, walked out and the lights are so bright on stage that you know that there's people out there. You can kind of see that the auditorium is filled, but all you can really see are the judges. And to be quite honest with you, that's all that really matters. You want to make sure you're making eye contact with all of them, smiling. And it's funny because the one thing, like my body doesn't get sore when I'm going through my poses. What hurts the most is my face from smiling. I feel like I end up like doing this, like my face starts twitching on stage. Um, 
So once I stood off to the side, I was like trying to get my face to relax a little bit and like switch up my posing a little bit. But yeah, that's the, I think that's one of the things I stress about the most is my smile on stage because I feel like I look stupid. 17, seven, 109, 101. So I was the first number they called out and they put me in center, but you don't really know what center is. It all depends really on how many girls they call on stage. So I didn't want to get my hopes up. They put me in center and they didn't move me. They kind of moved the other girls around and I didn't want to kind of look on stage like, all right, so one, two, three, start counting. You know, so when I stepped off stage, I saw videos. I was like, okay, so there's only five girls on stage and I'm center, they didn't move me. That's a good sign. But I still, still didn't want to get my hopes up. I didn't want to get worked up and think, oh my God, I just won my class. So yeah, I mean, all the work was done. We stepped off stage and I was able to go get some food. Um, nothing crazy, my coach wanted me to have fish. So did the fish, olive oil. I think I had two rice cakes. Then we just went home and put my feet up and relaxed until I had to come back for, for finals. All right, pre-judging is over. It went fairly well. First call out, center. I wasn't moved. The two girls on either side of me got moved. Um, it's 2, 2 p.m. right now, pre-judging. I mean, finals start at 5 p.m. I probably won't go on stage till like 7.30. Um, so yeah, now just go home and rest. Anything to say? Nope, should I get us home? Okay. The nerves definitely were kicking in at finals because that's you know, that's when the results come out. That's when you find out if all of the hard work that you put in finally paid off. So, yeah, I was nervous. Hey guys, we are backstage. I snuck the camera today. Um, so, judging, I told you guys about really well. I was center. Uh, I'm gonna go on about an hour. So, I'm just kind of hanging out backstage in the corner area. I'm just gonna lay down, put my feet up, um, try to go pee. Relax until I hit stage. So next time I talk to you guys, you will know. So finals usually go a lot faster uh, than pre-judging. There's not a lot of like, you know, comparisons or quarter turns. The judges kind of already have in mind who they're gonna put, you know, in the top five. Number 17, Stephanie Rowe. So as they're calling, you know, fifth place, fourth place, third place, and this is when I started to get nervous, right? Gabriela Consolmango. Finishing in second place is competitor number seven, Cora Kaspersky. And they call second place, and it wasn't me. And it was like a sigh of relief. And I'm like, wait, did I, maybe I didn't get top five. What, what happened? And the winner of an open figure B class is competitor number 17, Stephanie Rowe. But then they called my name first place and I was so relieved. It just put things into perspective for me that this was the first show that I really wasn't that nervous at because I knew that I had done everything possible. And it made me feel good that I did push back, not stepping on stage at nationals and doing this show instead because I knew I wasn't gonna be happy with what I looked like on a national stage uh, being like, that was four weeks prior. So given those extra four weeks that I had to get ready for the Excalibur, I felt like I brought a, I hate, I hate saying that word, brought a package that I was proud of, but I, my physique looked the best it's ever looked. So I was really happy about that. So now that I've gotten first place in my class, that means I have to go up against the first place winners of every other height class. So A, I was B, there was C and D. Your overall champion this evening is number 17, Stephanie Rowe. <laughs> and they called number 17. So, you know, I was, I was ecstatic. I, I'm not, um, I only cry over certain things, like when I get pictures of baby Titus or when I talk about Bruce. Um, other than that, I'm not a big crier, but I was like on the verge, like 
I was on the verge of tears uh, when when they put my crown on. I felt like Miss America. I'm like, oh my god. But yeah, it was just like all the hard work that I put in. You know, people, you guys see some of the YouTube videos of the training and some of the eating stuff, but you know, the way your body feels when you're prepping for a show, you're tired all of the time. I was doing two 45 minute sessions of hit cardio. My calories were really low and that's just the way my body responds to leaning out. Y'all know that me and the lean out process is, um, is a fighting battle the entire prep. My body fights being lean. So I have to push it beyond its breaking point. So to kind of see all that go into fruition and all of my hard work paying off, it was an amazing feeling. So I obviously have a ton of people to thank. My husband, because he honestly, even though he did make me dig ditches and like cut roots and stuff with an ax, he's such a great supporter and he pushes me when I don't wanna be pushed, which is the most important part. And, you know, he does all the little things around the house to make my life a lot easier, especially the, you know, the weeks leading up to the show. He does the grocery shopping, he'll do the cooking, he takes the dogs out for walks. So, you know, we both kind of pick up each other's slack when we're prepping for shows. So I was happy that he was done with competing for the season and then he could help me out when I stepped on stage. But like I said, he's just such a great motivator that I couldn't ask for anyone better to be in my corner. Uh, my coach, Matt, I, I love Matt and Jordan. They're both so great, so responsive. Haley, for my amazing suit that she sent me, I got so many compliments off that suit. I wanted to buy the suit off of her, but it's one of her rentals. My family has always been really supportive. You know, we go to family dinners, we just had Thanksgiving, like no one, no one pushes me to eat anything anymore. I think at first they were probably like, oh, you can take a bite out of this. But you know, since I've been doing this for so many years, they already, they already know like, oh, she's prepping, you know, nope. Um, so my mom's really, really awesome about that. Oh, my amazing videography team. David and Stefani have put up with my ass um, for 10 episodes now. Obviously sitting here doing interviews, I'm actually in their house, guys. So I'm invading their home and doing these interviews. So big shout out to Mai Tai Production for putting on these videos and doing amazing edits because obviously none of this would be possible without them. I wouldn't even exist basically on social media if it wasn't for those two. So thank you guys. V for the awesome makeup and for making me cry. I hate you. Also, thank you to Gold's Gym that allowed us to invade their little space and film. Uh, they're always so awesome with working with my schedule. So thank you very much. Thank you to ProSups. Uh, they're my employers slash sponsors. Uh, they've always been really, really supportive. I woke up to like 30 different text messages from my coworkers uh, and like other athletes that are on the team wishing me luck. And it does, it feels like a family. So thank you, ProSups. Love you guys. <sighs> I haven't picked my next show or have I? I don't like putting it out there until I'm like 100% sure that I'm doing a show because we all learned through this uh, season that I kept on pushing back shows. But I do have a show in mind that I might tell you guys on the next episode slash series of me getting my pro card. So thank you again and see you next time. Yeah, and you know. Yeah, uh.